Joining us now is Mustafa Barghouti, Secretary General and co-founder of Palestinian National Initiative. Um, hello to you. Thank you for joining us on the programme. Your heart must break for the families, uh, not only in Gaza, but also for those whose loved ones are missing and are hostages. Yeah, I feel very sorry for this little Israeli child, and uh, I hope we can do anything to make sure that she is safe and returned back to her family. But of course, we have to have the same feeling about the fact that 6,000 Palestinian children have been killed by the Israeli airstrikes and bombardment in Gaza. The youngest of these children was one day old. He was killed and his uh, death certificate was issued before his birth certificate was. I think that the uh, real murderer in this case are those in Israel who are responsible for continuing this system of oppression, of apartheid, and of occupation of another people, the Palestinian people. I think every Palestinian child and every Israeli child have the right to live normally, to have a future. And of course, it is heartbreaking to watch all of that that is happening. It's heartbreaking when we are told by Palestinian families in Gaza that they write the names of their children on their bodies in case when the Israeli airstrikes killed them, they would be recognized. It is heartbreaking to know, and I wish you would show at least one of the cases of these 6,000 people who were killed, children killed by Israeli airstrikes. It is heartbreaking when, you, when the families tell you that they exchange children putting one child with another family and taking a child from that family in case they will be killed. Because up to now, 968 Palestinian families were erased completely from the civil record because of this crazy and continuous Israeli airstrikes and bombardment. Please be safe in the knowledge, Mr. Bagutti, that we, of course, here at Sky News, um, value every uh, life the same, whether they are children in Gaza or whether they were children that were in Israel, southern Israel, particularly who were taken by Hamas. Um, I spoke to the IDF, the Israeli Defence Force, yesterday. They were saying they're not targeting civilians, they're targeting Hamas, who hide amongst civilians. And who killed the 6,000 children? Do you really believe them? They're not targeting civilians when they have destroyed already 50% of every home and house in Gaza Strip. They're not targeting civilians when they have attacked more than four hospitals now, killing people in hospitals. They're not targeting civilians when they are using up till now 36,000 tons of explosives thrown on Gaza in one month, which is much bigger than the total power of the nuclear bomb that was thrown on Hiroshima during the Second World War, I don't believe him. He's lying. And the Israeli lies are coming after one, uh, coming one after the other. They are killing civilians. This is not a war on Hamas. It's a war on all Palestinian people. And 1.4 million people have already been evicted from their homes. Can you imagine the lives of people who are deprived of food, water, electricity, sanitary facilities, and fuel for more than 31 days. What we see in Gaza is now a combination of genocide, collective punishment, and ethnic cleansing at the same time. And we have to look at the cause of all of that. For how long we can have more wars? This is the sixth war that Israel conducts on Gaza. This is the 12th war that Israel conducts on the Palestinian people. We need peace, and peace can come only if Israelis accept us as equal human beings, either in two-state solution or democratically in one state with equal rights. But to continue this process of ethnic cleansing, of eliminating Palestinians, of killing them year after year, will not bring peace. You spoke about some children who were taken by Hamas in Gaza. I want them all to be released immediately. And they can be released immediately, by the way, all the children, all the civilians, in exchange for nothing, just if we have ceasefire. And I say that I want your audience to know also that Israel has arrested during the last month from the West Bank, not Gaza, West Bank, which is not governed by Hamas. They arrested 2,200 Palestinians, including many children. We already have 200 children in Israeli jails. These are also hostages that have to be released. 
Mr. We have to accept each other, Mr. everybody as equal. The Israeli Defence Force would say, uh, forgive me, um, the Israeli Defence Force would say, if, if they were here, I'm guessing they would say that Hamas terrorists killed uh, children and um, Israeli citizens. Uh, they are now targeting, as a result, Hamas terrorists. Hamas terrorists are hiding amongst civilians in Gaza um, and it, it's they that should be held responsible for those that have been killed. No, the one who should be responsible more than anybody else is Netanyahu, the war criminal, and his military staff. And Netanyahu is not only a war criminal, he's a pathological liar. Can anybody in the world really convince me or convince you that killing 6,000 children in Gaza is justified? Are these 6,000 children, many of whom are two years old, one years old, five years old, are Hamas fighters? I didn't see Hamas fighters hiding behind the population. I, I follow everything daily, on daily basis. I saw them attacking Israeli tanks. I, I, and, and I don't believe what Netanyahu says to justify this genocide against a whole Palestinian population. More than 10,000 people have been killed in Gaza, mostly civilians, and among them, 6,000 children and more than 2,500 women. These are not Hamas people, these are not, um, uh, are not Hamas fighters. And Netanyahu has a huge army. He has airplanes that Palestinians cannot defend themselves from. Israel says that it has the right to defend itself. Okay. Don't Palestinians have the right to defend I themselves it, too? Yeah. I, I put it to you again, Mr. Baghouti, uh, that the uh, Israeli Defence Force and the Israeli government would say to you that Hamas terrorists are hiding beneath um, civilian targets. And there are some images in Again. this morning's newspaper. If I may finish, uh, in this morning's newspapers that purport to show a Hamas tunnel next to um, a Gazan hospital. Which is another lie because it was shown yesterday on TV that these tunnels are not tunnels, they are just places where they hide uh, medical and, and uh, industrial equipment for the hospital. You don't deny the tunnels, uh, though, let, so let, do me, you? let me remind you, let me remind you of five, four lies that were told before and they were revoked. By you Israel. don't deny the tunnels, first, so do you? First of all, no, no, no. They said that Palestinian fighters uh, uprooted children's heads. CNN had to apologize for tunnels, saying... Sir? No, no, no. I deny it, yes. The, you, the there CNN, aren't any tunnels uh, in Gaza? I, they are tunnels in Gaza, but not okay. in the hospital. Not okay. in the How hospital. Do you, know? you can't. You can't. No. Let, let me answer you. Why how don't do you, you give know? me the chance to answer? Tell me how you know. Because. Because people who are there are reporting on the... We have 17 medical teams working there. We have medical people working in the hospital. I know. And don't interrupt me. Let me say what I wanted to say. Israel said four big lies. They said that children were uprooted. CNN had to apologize for that lie. They said that women were raped. Los Angeles Times correspondent had to ap apologize for that lie. They said that the numbers of Palestinians killed is not correct. The Ministry of Health published all the names of all children and all people who have been killed with their ID numbers. Israel keeps driving you with lies, lies after lies after lies. And unfortunately, the Western media, some of the Western media keeps repeating them. Check the things, but ask yourself why your journalists are not in Gaza. Because they don't allow you to go there. Because they don't want to show the truth. Because they want to hide the truth. Ask yourself why they are cutting electricity and telecommunication from Gaza regularly. Because they don't want the images of what's happening, the huge destruction of 50% of all homes in Gaza, of hospitals, of universities, of more than 32 health centers to be shown to the world. Listen to what UNRWA says, United Nations. Listen to what... Amnesty International says, Human Rights Watch, all of these international organizations, UNICEF, even Guterres, the general secretary of the United Nations, said it very clearly. He said Israel has transformed Gaza into a graveyard and they are witch hunting him just because he's telling the truth and he's telling that all of what's happening is because of the Israeli illegal occupation of Palestinian land. OK, he actually went further and said a children's graveyard, did he not? Mustafa Baghouti, we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to join us. Thank you.